Hi, it's Joy and today we're watching Superman and Lois, Season 2, Episode 3, The Thing in the Mines. I am so ready for this episode. A reminder that if you are watching this on YouTube, the unedited version of this episode and all of my reactions to this show are up on Patreon a month in advance. So when this is up on YouTube, I'll be watching Episode 3 of Season 3 on Patreon. Let's go. Is it safe for him to be up in the world? Is he trying to pinpoint where it's coming from? Oh, Clark. Freaking lucky he landed in an empty field and not like a school or a crowded street. Because when he f falls like uh, out of control, he could kill people. And I cannot let Anderson know that something down there is making me vulnerable. I'll call my dad, see if he can get us credentials. Which was a one time ask. Then consider this part B. You promised, Nat, John. I know. But is there anyone else you can go to right now? You should talk to Natalie about it then. If you promise her you weren't going to do anything else, you just sit down with her and explain why you think you need to. I don't know what I'm going to say to her, man. What do you want? Stay together, break up? I want her to not have kissed someone else. Mm -hmm. Care for Dari. Didn't want to break up the process. No, 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 you're fine. They're so weird because they're siblings and completely not siblings at the same What's time. But they could have a lovely cousinish relationship. Which, I mean, maybe you can sympathize with? You know, the whole half alien son of Superman thing? I mean, that's a completely It is completely scene. different. <laughs> yeah. What Sarah did wasn't great, sure, but at least she told you. Told him eventually. I mean, I also do agree. I don't think that one, like, if it was one kiss at camp, that that should be the end of a relationship. If Sarah wants to be with him still and he still wants to be with her. I completely agree. But also, I don't think you can pair that secret to his secret, because it's also not really his secret. And it's like, it's not like he's done anything to Sarah as a result of his secret. Do you want her to be cool about it, or would you want her to react how you are right now? But it's different. He's not doing this to her. Who knows what it's like to feel incomplete. Oh, this is the cold lady taking advantage of people when they're vulnerable. These people exist in the real world. Hey, Dad, what took you so long to call me back? Where are you? In paradise. Got onto Deer Lake this morning. And He's actually just out. living his retirement dream. For me. I thought you might have wanted to spend a bit of time with your family, but okay. About me and Sarah. Okay. You picked the kind of worst time, but. I meant it. Didn't tell her, you know, everything. You mean about having powers? Yeah, like all of it. Oh, sweetheart, it's. You are a little young. I mean, yeah, I know you. It, you feel very real feelings, but the love you feel at fourteen, fifteen is. Is a baby version of the love you're going to feel when you're older and yeah i think we probably could trust sarah with it but maybe wait a little bit longer sweetheart i don't think sarah's going to run around telling people but it kind of sets a precedent for how quickly you tell people no i was an adult after i knew i wanted to marry her what if i want to marry sarah 15 jordan so so get in the car i, I want to marry her dad you don't you're 15 know that. baby yes, you oh He's not in control of himself right now. That was not him. Sure, I'm sorry. Children, he's not in control of himself right oh, now. Sir. I got it. I think Jordan needs to be a bit late for school and he needs to talk to his dad a bit more so his dad can apologize. And also they can sit him down and say, look, 15, you don't, you don't want to marry her at 15. Yeah, people do meet the one they're going to marry at 15, but you don't know for sure. I think you really scared him. I don't even remember everything that I happened. I think he really scared himself. I he wasn't listening to me. I can't think straight today. Let alone handle that conversation. Is it because of the thing unsettling him? Or was that just his genuine reaction? Because if it was just his genuine reaction, Clark, do better. I hate that they've got into his head that the lies he's telling are the same as the lies she was telling. Because her lie... Again, I don't think it should be relationship ending in the grand scheme of things if neither of them want it to be. Um, and I think it is something they can move past their kids. But her lie was that she cheated on him. His lie is that he has this whole other part of his family that no one in the world knows. And, you know, it could put everybody in danger if they found out all the usual reasons you don't tell people. It, his lie isn't that he's cheating on her with someone else every week. You know, his lie is not a comparable lie. And so I hate that he's now gone in his head that he's being a bad boyfriend because he's lying to her. Like... Yeah, I think it's one of those things that you're not going to be thrilled when you figure out that the person's been lying to you, but you also should really understand why. I want to be with you. I, I if she means this, we can get you. past this. I don't know where we go from here. Jordan. 
what they need to do is sit down. Don't tell me he's going to get in his head about his girlfriend too. <laughs> sit down and think about what would you feel like if Sarah told you? If in four years, two years, six years, I don't know, when you've been together... I think my main thing is it's not even just their age, though their age is a huge part of it. It's also that they've only been together for a year, six months of actually, like, when you've been together for a few years and you know that person inside and out, that's when I think you tell them. How would you feel, Jordan, if Sarah sat you down in a few years and said, by the way, my dad's Spider-Man? Okay, I mean, you know, I, I don't, it's not, I know it's Marvel, but, you know, my, my dad is a superhero and I'm also half spider and I haven't told you for all the reasons that you haven't told her. Would you be like, oh my god, how dare you not tell me and storm out? Or would you be a bit like, fuck, you've kept the secret from me? Yeah, it was through you, but wouldn't you come through it? He should have that conversation. To be honest, Clark and Lois should have had this conversation with the boys. With Lois telling the side of what it's like to have been lied to um, and come over through it and understand. And um Clark's side of what it's like to do the lying because even like Jonathan he's not lying about himself but he is keeping secrets about other things that down the line might be more important I just come on we can get through this it's gonna be okay he's definitely on something I know he is it's just it's not that what she Do knows stuff at Deucer Slayton's lake house party like stronger I don't you so dare think about taking it it's not even like a real drug but yeah kids getting their hand on crypt Ex-cryptonite. So that's my one knew who Morgan Edge really was, Chuck. Right. Another thing you weren't aware of, huh? That gonna be your answer when everything you're preaching now doesn't come to pass? I mean it is true. We're supposed she to doesn't have over George Dean when she can't even answer a simple question. What has George fucking Dean done? I mean, this man's probably a plant from George Dean. What has George Dean done for Smallville? Smallville is dying to the point where we had to look for string for like extreme loans and outside help from people like Morgan Edge. Like George Dean is a nothing. You sure you want to coach today? Can't do anything else right now, and I missed the last one. Yeah, but is it safe if you have another ah moment? It's not safe. I should go. For I you, said. all the people around you. I want you to get her to talk to me. I'm not getting in between you and your sister. I can't go through that again. Dad, this is my career. Maybe you could. She's my daughter. Damn it, so am I. Why will you never help Ooh. me when it almost died? Remember, because you wouldn't do anything. My God, Oof. I have never understood this with you. I can't pick a side. It's not picking a side as a parent. You didn't read it, did you? Why do I need to? She said it wasn't like that for oh. her. It was like that for her. I know, I okay, Lucy for me. that is not being a good parent, help. but I do also get that he was just terrified of losing his kid. But you need to do better. You try and help your daughters reunite. Make things up. Some of those skills might rub off on you eventually. Yeah. Mm, Jonathan. Drugs you've been taking. Your girl, who's the one who's hooking me up. What? Ooh. She didn't tell you that each one of us is pathetic now. I mean, you? He trusted his girlfriend. That's not that pathetic. Jo Jonathan. Jonathan, he riled you up and you fell for it. Boys. You don't just lash out at people. You don't. I should have been the one out there. Ooh, fuck. Jonathan, get out of here. Sweetheart, he's not in control of himself right now. It's not you. Dad, we need to go home now. You do. And you also need to somehow destroy that vending machine so it's very clear that someone didn't check a helmet at it. Okay, signing off, Jonathan. We don't lash out with punching people even when they're dicks. Because the reality is, trusting the person you love or care about, I don't know how strong his feelings are for his girlfriend, is one thing. Not believing the worst of them is one thing. But the most pathetic thing of all is taking drugs to try and get ahead in sport. Just accept you're not the greatest and move on with your life. Second thing, both boys. Clark is it's not freaking out like that because of you. Yes, you'll be getting angry and a bit riled, but there's a lot of other stuff going on. Remember, it's not it's not you. Wow, Rage Holic strikes again. This was different! Oh. Boys, go upstairs, we'll it's, talk about yeah. this later. Now. It's not to do with you, it's something affecting his powers. Calm down. But it's not me. This is, is so thing? interesting. Devastating for him. Visions. You're feeling what it's feeling. Mm -hmm. It's almost like whenever he feels the slightest flare-up of anger, 
like you do when you're a normal human, it latches onto that and expands it. The most powerful being. Until we hear back from John Henry, we don't even know if that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Why do you need to hear back from my dad? Oh, Lord Almighty. Because he's trying to keep people safe, sweetheart. You maybe Sorry. should have talked to you first. This was a mistake, Kyle. You just need to think, come up with a response. And by that, I mean, hopefully for you, a genuine response. A genuine explanation for the mistakes you've made in the past and how you've learned from them. You, you must have known this would what come up. What the hell was I thinking? Because I'm a girl? Uh, uh, yeah, sort of. Well, now I'm going to straight up destroy you. Really? Really? Okay, if these three are able to form a sort of family bond, that will be lovely. Apologize to let them tell them the I truth. My dad ever yelled at me like that. This thing. It wasn't totally like you that yelled at them. I do not like that he's going downhill with her. Because who is she shadily talking to? I think you're right. If they're able to it's walk. To where there's blood and stuff. Surely the creature has been able to escape by now? We should not trust this lady. Did somebody set off explosive? Yep. I thought that was what was going to happen. Yeah. An apology. It wasn't really your fault. You know? Mm -hmm. He still meant what he said. That's true. I did. And my fault or not doesn't change what happened. I like this. So, both I find kind a way of make it up to you both. them acknowledging that he wasn't. Each man to drive the truck, yeah? Bro, that's all it takes. I like that they're not holding it against him against him, but they're still hurt by it, because that's real. And there was a much bigger fight between these two. What you want in life can change pretty fast. Especially at your age. I don't know, Dad. I, I love her. I don't think I it's ever going to change. And he's not belittling like, that love. If any year but... from now, you still feel the same way, then maybe you and I can have a different conversation. Really? Exactly. Just give it more time in the relationship. In the meantime... So I'm still intrigued about the something came through that she said we talk about what about how he's not been a great dad just wanted you to know i read your article a few years too late focus on work there i trusted myself at home i was <laughs> your girls needed you it's not entirely so his fault but he also death. all we ever wanted you to do was just be a dad and i mm -hmm. failed at that i know it's really hard not having you around Mm -hmm. Pumpkin, you needed me. Yep, she did. Both you girls did. You're very lucky she still lets you in her life and That's is forgiving you decide. and giving you the second chance. Well, but she did agree to meet with you. That's good. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> really well, hope that's good. Lucy isn't strong like you. She needs yeah. a delicate touch. People have different strengths. But that's partly because Lois was strong for her when they were younger, I guess. Can't. Mm-hmm. A girl. I see. I and love that she just... There's zero her. issues yeah. with her telling her mom this. And I'm glad that I did because... She's she knows exactly what it's like to date a Kent boy that you think is keeping a secret from you. I'm, I'm not ashamed. If that happens, he doesn't deserve you. I mean... That is the thing a mum would say. But like, yeah, do not feel ashamed that it was a girl. But maybe feel a little ashamed that you cheated on your boyfriend. Like, no one should be like, I cheated on my boyfriend and I'm so proud. But like, if he can't get past that, that's okay. Yeah, it was just a kiss. It wasn't like a torrid affair or anything. But you're also 14. Like, he's allowed to find that that was too much. It makes me so proud. To don't cheat on anyone ever again, sweetheart, because that's not a nice side of you. Again, she's 14. I'm not holding this against her, but... Strength and size doesn't feel like me that's running. It's like I'm playing this part. Then do it as you. I do love that this family is doing so much better than they were before. I mean, my mom abandoned us and my dad was never around and I turned out okay. You did. I mean... Okay, my beautiful. <laughs> <Careful, laughs> it's true, but you turned out okay. You're a wonderful person, but you still carry some pretty deep scars from both of your parents' actions, and that's what he's afraid of doing with your boys. Understatement, because you're perfect. Park, back, He's the thing spinning fear. You won't be able to stop it. Oh God, I'm scared now. I mean, I'm also glad that John Henry's not alone, but scared. 
What is it? I mean, technically speaking, you did just open fire on something that had actually not done anything hostile. It just popped out of mine. Like now, if anything, it's defending itself. And also, yeah, this is so going to end up being a thing of like, oh, we should have told the military dude because um, Ian Bowen, I can't remember his name in this, Anderson? Maybe I do know his name in this. That would be a first in my brain fog. Like maybe it's going to be like, oh, we should have told them because, you know, now this is all happening and people are in danger and we hadn't warned that there was a creature inside. But Clark wasn't the one that severed that relationship. Anderson was. Both with his America first, America only weird mentality and then by co-opting the symbol of superman which yeah like he doesn't have like a copyright thing it's not but you just don't do it you maybe do a similar symbol with like usa or something <laughs> like he broke that trust that was there between them he acted dismissively of superman he acted like every single thing superman has done wasn't enough wasn't good enough didn't matter because he wouldn't pledge allegiance to the flag of america over everyone else he'd be like oh yeah you know right now there's nothing happening in america that needs me but there is actually a situation in australia but well i can't go and help them because i gotta america might need me in the future like ludicrous and then taking the symbol that means something taking these aren't these kids and vulnerable young people who have been like through all sorts of stuff untested sending them into these dangerous situations without reasonable training and i worry about their consent and everything I want, like, no wonder we're not going to tell him trust this man. Woo. Yep, sweetheart. You need to have a talk with your dad when he's home. Like, can we talk, please, strange suit person? Oh, God, he's brave. Whoa. Is it having no effect? Like, he's not even noticing! Okay, that one he noticed. Oh, it, it opened the... the it, it, he, at least he destroyed the helmet. Can we see the face? Is it him? That explains why Clark is the only one feeling these loops and why they're connected. Fuck. So is that like an alternate universe's that version? Yep. But I gotta call Anderson. Sam, no. There's a bizarre version of. Yeah, you know, this we do have to tell him. If he sends in those kids. This thing will destroy them. They're not kids, Clark. And even Superman needs to admit when he needs help. One of them is a kid. He's right. But I also think we have to tell him. You think the two of you will be enough? Although actually, thinking it through, we don't have to tell him anything because the military were there. And yeah, they may not have seen that it was Clark. But they saw that they were saying, no, we don't need to tell him anything because he already knows enough. No, look, um, I can give this to Sarah later. What? No, 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 no way. Yeah, it's not as important. Okay, but yeah, it is. Brothers. And Jordan, I look, I just go see her. We like the brotherly gesture. Jonathan is drowning a bit. Don't you dare take it yourself. Don't you dare. You said that coming to this town was the way back to normal. I know. But this I'm not sure normal. if normal ever going to be part of our lives again. Not until we do something about this suit. Okay, good. I was going to say. Thrusters are completely shot. CPU needs to be We can fix the suit up together. Damaged. I understand feeling betrayed by family, but Lucy is not Talro. It's okay mm -hmm. to have a little hope. She's agreed to meet with you. That is huge. Here we go. I want it to be because you all know me and trust me. I like I this approach far no better. better to get to know Would it work in the real world? Who knows? But so go ahead. Wow, mm. it's beautiful. It's oh, very sweet. Okay, that is ridiculously I sweet. To her back when they were in high school. Yes, I love you, Sarah. That is very I love sweet. That you're bold. And that you're caring and you're kind. And that you were honest. honest. Mm hmm Sorry if I made you feel like it did. So he was allowed to feel hurt. But yeah, I'm glad they found their way through it. Because one kiss is not the end of everything. You can feel that at 14. 
No. What are you doing? I knew you wouldn't understand. Don't you dare take the drugs, young man. Do you think I'm doing this for fun? I need you to sell something to me. Dumb, dumb boy. Like, it's ridiculous and awful that she feels like that's the only way she can help her dad and that anyone in this world is in that kind of position. I'm not hating on Candace right now, although I'm, I'm not loving on Candace either. But, Jonathan, you're being an absolute idiot right now. Lucy isn't coming. Fuck. Well, this is very, very ominous. She thought it would be Lucy's still in thrall of the cult. Oof. I'm so intrigued and terrified. Okay, he speaks alien language. Okay, that was the other alternative was that it was not, not any language that I speak. <laughs> Ooh, very fancy. Flipped around. This was a really good episode. Um, we finally know what the thing in the mines is. It is Clark from another universe. That's why they said if something came through. Now the big question is who is Petra Bellwether working with? I mean, Dr. Faulkner? Why am I randomly remembering surnames? My brain fog never normally lets me remember names or people that are hardly in it. Um, but what was she's up to? Who she's working for? Um, and what they have to do with this clock. Why are they bringing someone through? How did they bring someone through? And where from? What kind of earth is this? Obviously he's got like a weird pendant. He's like black veins and everything. A very tattered Superman cape. You know, to me, he kind of looks like a zombie version of Superman. Uh, so I'm really excited to learn more about his story, what's going on there. Um, he also seemed very surprised when he saw himself that he was beating up and he flew away. Like, it definitely doesn't currently seem as though this dude like uh, what Clark has been feeling is trapped scared angry and all of these kind of big emotions so to me right now I feel like I mean that was our Clark it's improved that the zombie Clark and I'm gonna call him that for, for now until we get another name for him I guess zombie kal um doesn't know what's happening he didn't intentionally come through or doesn't know where he is and is probably quite confused I would also say that like yeah, he did kill the mine. He, he was attacking the miners before they blew him up. But, you know, all things considered, when the soldier started shooting at him, it was just somebody in a scary looking suit that burst out of a mountain. He could have been like, thank God, I was trapped for days and I found this metal contraption in there and I put it on. You know, they just opened fire before he'd done anything. Um, which is the American military for you. It's probably also the British military, but, you know, this, this was the American military. Um... Whenever I criticise America, I'm always quick to say the UK is not much better, if at all. Um, so that was not what I was expecting. I kind of, it like was, it wasn't completely out of what I was expecting because Clark was the only one connecting and they said it came through, but I really just, this kind of zombified weird version of him, never in a million years would have expected. And I also wasn't thinking like, that's going to be Clark. But when the mask was broken, I was like, oh my God, is it? And it was um i loved that natalie was just like she wasn't thrilled that her dad was going to go out there and risk his life but she also was like right we're gonna have to fix this suit then because the reality is this is the world they live in and john henry is not the kind of person to be like well i could go and help save the world that i live in and my daughter lives in and everyone i now care about lives in or i could just sit here and watch it burn he's obviously going to fight to protect people for himself for his daughter and just for the general good and i love that she just put it down and helped him i also liked that while the boys were hurt by clark's outbursts and you could see it um they also were forgiving of it they were like yeah it wasn't totally you and you know some of what you said was you which is why jordan and clark needed a bit more of a conversation but they're also understanding in the moment you're kind of like upset and just oh my god my dad just yelled at me i had like glowy eyes like what the fuck was that and then with more time and understanding you're like okay so that wasn't totally my dad but it was a little bit now, I am very, very worried about Jonathan right now. I've been worried about this boy all of last season because he, like I've said a thousand times, he lost the most in their move to Smallville. And like, he didn't really gain much. To an extent, I'd say he has a much better relationship with his brother than he did when we first met them. I'd say he and his father and his, like his family are kind of closer because there's not that secret there anymore. But in terms of his personal life, his future and everything, he lost a lot and has had to kind of deal with it. To the point that he even was the one that lost his bedroom when Natalie moved in. <laughs> like, guys, let's have Jordan move into Jonathan's. Though maybe John, Jordan always had a slightly bigger room. I don't know. Um, 
for him to then kind of get breaking his arm and i mean and it, it wasn't just his fault i understand why he's struggling but him going and taking the drugs i just want to shake this boy shake some sense into him and i couldn't shake him hard so it's fine like what are you doing bro for one thing if you find out your girlfriend's dealing drugs you break up with her like yes obviously she feels like this is the only way she can help her dad and I'm very sorry for her that she's in this position, that she, you know, that her family is worried about money and they don't exactly, you know, she's got a boyfriend who lives in this lovely house and his parents own all this land and everything. And I, I get that she's struggling. I'm not blaming her. I know that sometimes you can feel like you have no other choices, but come on, there have got to be other choices than doing dealing drugs to make money. Um, I will say if it's just the ex-Kryptonite, where is she getting it from? Now my hope with Jonathan, the only hope I have, is that he is somehow doing this to find out where she gets it from. He's like trying to do an investigation to be useful. My fear is he feels like he's not good enough and he wants to take this stuff so that he can be better. He is 14, I believe. Maybe they turned 15, I don't know. I know Sarah's about to, um, that they're babies, so I I'm not like, when they make decisions, I'm not as critical as I would be if they were 10 years older. But I am also just like, Jonathan, you're a smarter boy than this. Um, so I'm very concerned about that. And again, a surefire way to destroy your future is to start taking performance enhancing drugs, even if they aren't technically illegal, because they're not technically acknowledged by anyone. So I'm freaking stressed about him, and I have been for a while. And then Jordan, that little puppy dog being like, I love Sarah, and I want to tell her, if you're 14, sweetheart if you're 14 years old you don't want to marry her i mean there is a very good chance you will stay together forever there is also a very good chance you'll be broken up in a month like young romances in fact any romance but especially when you're young you don't really even know who you are at 14 you feel like you know who you are but you don't a lot of the core of you is the same you know i was ridiculously geeky and into all of my shows i was also incredibly cringy and embarrassing um I don't think being with someone at 14 is necessarily a guarantee, but when you are 14 and in love, it's easy to feel that way. So I like that ultimately Clark wasn't belittling his feelings for Sarah, because of course not. Right now, he's in love with her, and it is the best feeling he's ever had, the most wonderful, powerful feeling. But they're also very young. You know, if he were to come home and say, I bought a ring, I'm going to go and propose to Sarah, his parents would have had the exact same response of, what the fuck? No, 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 you're a baby, let's stop. So I like the idea of we'll revisit this in a year and we'll see where we are because as much as they are young I think the longer you're in a relationship the, the deeper the connections can get and the more it would be more reasonable to tell her after more time together and a bit more a few more years on you. Um, I didn't like the idea that Jordan not telling her about the whole craft Kryptonian thing was the same as her not telling him about kissing somebody else. Like those are two hundred percent drastically different things those things don't even correlate in terms of telling or not telling because the main issue with her kissing it wasn't like oh jordan i went to camp and i found out that i also fancy girls and i realized that i'm bisexual or whatever like i know sarah hasn't put a label on it and i'm not trying to label her but, you know if, if that was what her realization was i didn't do anything i just thought oh i've learned this thing about myself even that wouldn't correlate particularly but it wouldn't hurt him it doesn't affect him that she happens to like girls too if she had gone to camp and figured out she was a lesbian and had no interest in boys and therefore wished to break up with him and was just stringing him along that would affect him but that is not currently where we're at um and again i'm not hating on sarah she's a kid she probably like i said she probably had never even occurred to her in our heteronormative society she never even thought that she did ha like girls too and so when she was getting close to this girl she didn't read the signs the same way she would have done if she was getting close to a boy because we live in a society that pushes girls like boys and boys like girls um so I'm not hating on Sarah for this. If she hadn't told him going on, I, I would have been more critical, but she did tell him, and that's a hard thing to tell someone. Um, but I didn't like the assumption, the kind of general statement of, if he didn't forgive her, he'd be unreasonable. That they're children. She broke his heart. I also never really thought he wouldn't forgive her, but you know, it was like, if he wasn't able to forgive her, that's okay too. He's allowed to stand up for himself and his personal boundaries. Um, but I love the fact that he was able to find his way and um, that he was able to forgive her. Though I didn't love the fact that they put into his head that his secret was comparable because his secret is just, 
it's not just his secret it's also his dad's secret it's this huge world ending secret his dad never told his high school girlfriend his dad didn't tell you know anyone until he was an adult like it, it's just you can't compare it and it really irritated me that they did and that they then made jordan feel bad like jordan has felt bad about enough things in his life um and yes obviously he knows what it's like to be lied to but he also came to understand that they're not still furious with their dad about that and it's I, it's just different so i didn't love how they wrote that but i am glad jordan and sarah are back on a good page um because like i said one kiss when you're a kid doesn't have to mean anything to be honest i think probably as an adult you could get through one that kind of thing but you also there's nothing wrong with it if you can't um my one of my favorite things was the fact that sarah seemingly just came out to her mom as bi or pan or whatever just by saying i kiss the girl at camp and there was not a huge deal made about it because that is the world we should live in a world where your kid can come home and tell you that they fancy somebody of any gender whatsoever and you're just accepting and loving and cool with that because you love your kid i don't like i would love to think that my children would never have to come out to me if they want to that's great but i would love for them to have to just tell me that they are dating or want to date whoever it is that exists in the universe um the whole running for mayor thing um i do think she would be a much better mayor than the current guy and i like the idea of doing it from just a uh, this is who i am i am not some practice polished politician i am just me i have made mistakes i have risen through it i do think she needs to come up with an answer for when people do challenge her on the morgan edge thing for when people do challenge her on the loans that are a bit dodgy and own those mistakes acknowledge them acknowledge how she learned from them acknowledge that she helped stop morgan edge when she realized what was happening and then look at the mayor dude he also did shady shitty things call him out on those um i have no idea where lana storyline is going but it would be cool if she would become the mayor and i just it makes me so happy to see the cushing household this happy and together and complete because they were, were in such dire straits when we first met them in season one and the fact that they've healed is everything i am concerned obviously about lucy lane um i am my heart breaks for lois and everything she's had to deal with in her life how strong she had to be for her family i think it's actually immensely i don't even understand how she is forgiving of her father as she is i mean i guess i do given that he was the one wronged like her mother left it wasn't like he was the one cheating that broke the marriage or anything um but the fact that she had to be the strong one for the family and keep it all together and then when lois went astray he didn't even look into it he just took when lana went these L names are going to be the death of me. When Lucy went astray, he just um, was the one. Who, he didn't look into it. He just was like, oh, I don't want to lose her. So therefore, I'm going to say, yes, you're right. You're my perfect darling. Everything you did was right. Um, he should have read that freaking article when it happened. He should have talked to Lois about it when it happened. I mean, the fact that Lois found her sister near death and saved her life. You just talked to your daughter about that. Um, I do think, I mean, I did think General Lane Mr. Lane, I can't remember his name, was trying to do better. But then he retired and was like, I'm going to spend more time with my family while I go fishing miles away. <laughs> um, it was good, I think, for Lois to finally say some of those things to him. Like, she's called out him out on things before, but to get this thing off her chest to really say, like, we needed you. And, like, I needed you. And, you know, when Clark was saying he's worried he's going to mess up the kids for life, and she said, well, you know, I had messy parents and I'm fine. You are fine. You are wonderful. But you also can, will always carry the scars from the things you live through. And if we can try and shield our children from that kind of thing, that would be best. Um, I feel like I've talked in circles. I'm so sorry if I've missed anything. So obviously, Lucy seems to have gotten back with the cult. And that, that is not great. Um, this is going to be um, Lois's adversary for this season, obviously. I wonder whether it's going to end up tying into the other stuff or if it's going to be totally unrelated. And has Lucy willingly fallen back in with them or have they like, taken her or something? I have no idea but i am intrigued and scared and excited to find out i love this show a reminder that if you're watching this on youtube you can find the unedited version on my patreon one month in advance and thank you so much for watching